Hello, grade 12s. Hope you had a great long weekend. Uh, the weather turned out much better than forecasted. And so I really hope you had, hope you had the chance to get outside and enjoy that weather and uh, are ready for a new week of math. So it was great last week also to wrap up that last unit. I Hopefully you enjoyed the, the um, uh, Google Meet assessment that we did. I thought it went over very well. I was pretty impressed with how well you um, knew your math and were able to tackle those vector questions. So it was a neat new different way to try and do an assessment instead of a big, big test. Um, so it was an interesting experiment. We might do it again towards the end of the year, um, but uh, I thought it went well. So we're going to start a new unit today. Um, and you move on to your classwork, you'll see this unit seven, day one, two, and three. And in fact, uh, I've actually trimmed down this whole unit is in that those are the only three uh, lessons that you're going to do for this unit. Okay, algebraic vectors is a different way to do uh, vectors that is um, better than geometric vectors. For some cases, geometric vectors are, are better for certain questions. Uh, algebraic vectors do allow us to take a couple of shortcuts. Uh, people seem to like algebraic vectors because it's got some algebra in it, which um, most people are pretty comfortable with. So what I've done for our planning calendar is I've actually mapped out the next two weeks. And that's just to give you a heads up for what I'm thinking of doing uh, next week. So this week, it, we're going to start and end this um, unit seven very, very quickly with intro to algebraic vectors as day one, dot product on day two, and cross product as day three. And then what I've got planned tentatively for next Monday is a Google Meet at 11 o'clock that I'm going to treat like a live lesson and we're going to do a review lesson. So I know I got some feedback from you that we missed kind of that review before a, a test. And so on that Monday, tentatively, I've scheduled, uh, I'm going to do like a real review to get you ready for a test. Now, this test we're going to do like we did our first test. Um, but I don't want you to think it's going to be as big as that first test. That big first test was a little bit big. This is only on going to be on three lessons, three days worth of material. So it's not really big enough to call it a test, but it's bigger than a quiz. So it's probably like a quest and I maybe I should have called it that. Um, so, but I'm going to do this live review where you can ask me questions and really get a sense of what's going to be on that test on that Monday. OK, and uh, that's why I've given you the two weeks so you can have the heads up for it. So we'll spend this week starting and ending the unit and then you'll have lots of flex time to get ready. Uh, we'll do this review lesson on Monday and our test kind of on Tuesday. And again, we'll sign up for some times. I have a time Monday uh, night that if some people would prefer to do it at night, they could do it Monday night, um, do the, come to the review in the morning and do it that night. Um, but the plan is kind of have most of you try it on Tuesday. Uh, and again, I want to stress it's a it's less like a big test and more like a big quiz. OK, um, and it's going to be on this three material. And then once we're done that test, we'll start unit eight towards the end of the week. And that'll be um, getting us into uh, unit eight and nine, which is where we'll finish off our course. OK, so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this stuff. I think you'll have some success with these three lessons. And uh, don't be afraid to reach out if you have any questions during the week. Uh, I can set up a little quick little Google Meet and answer those questions. Um, and then I'm looking forward to this live lesson review on Monday and uh, a test on Tuesday. All right. So enjoy the week and uh, take care.